you know we love Christmas around here and it's never too early to start preparing and decorating. So here to take clothespins that you have lying around your house that are maybe hanging your clothes up somewhere and turn them <laughs> into a Christmas wreath is Paige. What a great idea. Well, this is so fun. When we, you know, a couple weeks ago, Ken, Orly, and I did a dollar store challenge. We loved that it. So We'd like you to fun. do it again. I, it was so much fun. Yeah. But while I was there, this was my second project. So this was kind of like my throwaway project, but I got all, I got two packs of these clothespins for a dollar. So that's how much they cost at the dollar store. That's it. So you get a hundred with oh that, goodness. two packs of 50. And I had, I you can see I used six. So I had leftovers. Yeah. 94 to be exact. 94. <laughs> so I thought I would get to work and turn them into something beautiful and amazing and maybe something that doesn't look like what they were intended to look no, like in the beginning. No, it doesn't. Yeah, you so, can tell right away looking at it. Yeah. You really can't. So we need clothespins. You yep. need clothespins, um, little washi tape, and then to make the bow, you need some ribbon and some paper. That That's bow it. is actually made out of paper and a little bit of glue. What? Nice. Yes. Wow. So much fun. So what do we okay. do? Oh, so the first thing you do is, um, oh, also on the materials list, yeah. a, a wreath form. Now okay. you can get these in the plant area of the craft mm -hmm. store, or you can actually get them at the dollar store as well. Found that there. So um, this goes all the way around, and this kind of creates the wreath for you, and all you do is just put on You don't another. even glue them. Don't even glue them. Oh my goodness. Yep. Oh. Just keep so you on. Could use that for your clothes later if you want. <laughs> you could. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And so once you get <laughs> once you get it all the way around, I like to start with a blank canvas yeah. because then I go in with my washi tape and I can pick like okay, this is a pretty nope. bright nope. color of nope. red. Nope. No, nope. oh, I've done it wrong. There you go. There you oh, go. oh, the inside, I see. Yes. Okay. So it's a bright color of red. I may not want it like all over, yeah. so I'm going to go sporadically. So let's actually start so down okay. here. And all you do is take a pair of scissors. So this already comes, this washi tape already comes. Mm -hmm. Whoops, thank you. Look at that. It already comes uh, with adhesive on the back. It already comes in wonderful colors. Sure. I mean, you could if you wanted to sit and paint all 94 of them. Sure. Well, you could spray, couldn't you? you Would could. you paint yeah, before? You could spray. Or spray half of them yeah, green, half of them could. red? Spray paint it. Sure, you could. Nice. But I thought with the washi tape, and you can see on the one that's done over here, I've, I've mixed in kind of golds and rose golds with my Christmas colors. Yeah. And it just kind of keeps keeps it up to date and you can switch them out I too. was gonna say because sure. if you paint it then you know I mean you could paint over I guess but or you could use washi tape over it there you yeah, go it's the gift that keeps on giving it is okay so once you have all of that done you can see I just hung it on the wall there was a wreath there that had a yeah. nail I took that one off put, put mine that, on it was yeah. really easy sorry so then, about that Ken it was probably Ken's wreath it, <laughs> it probably was <laughs> yes um, okay so now the bow of this is I wanted it to really look like a flower like mm -hmm. a poinsettia so what I did, and this will be downloadable on our website for you guys to do at home, but I got uh, craft book paper, um, or scrapbooking, Scrap, yeah. and now that you told me it's scrapbooking weekend, I'm so excited. <laughs> it's I know what you're doing this weekend. Yeah, totally scrapbooking. So you cut all of these out, and then you just take a little bit of glue mm -hmm. and add one to the next. And you see you put that on there? Look at that. Fold it up, so that kind of makes oh, it look like page. leaves. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna take a little piece of gold, and I just used whatever extra scrapbook paper I had around. So you can do these in any color. It doesn't have to be exactly these colors. You set that in there, and then all of this will be on the website. Just really, I cut a circle and added a little glue to that. So you could do this freehand. Where someone like myself, or and maybe Mark, I don't know. Well, yeah, that, that's why we don't have need the template. Me into your I'm just situation. saying. Yes. I wouldn't be able to freehand as well as you do. Well, um, it was fun because I freehand once, and, and then, then I just got cut to around. cut around the petals. Even though every petal is different, I know. Yeah. Um, and then for this piece, you can see it's a pe it's a circle on the back, and I've just taken it and crimped. All you do is fold back and forth, yeah. hmm. go all the way around, and then we are going to take our glue and be real generous about that glue and put it right put in the it. middle. And don't okay. worry about pressing the petals down. You will a little bit. Yeah, when it that's comes fine, to that, it opens them up a little bit. It does open yeah. them up, yep. Which and then nice. for the middle, I just went to see what I what we had here in the there craft room. And all you do is put that in there. on the top. And what you wanna do to the entire structure here is put this on a with a paper, pin. with a clothespin. Yep. Stop. Add a little bit of ribbon. Um, ribbon. Ribbon underneath. Yep. And you can do a double or triple ribbon okay. by just going like this and taking wire, yeah. just tiny wire, and going all the way around just it because like it's going to be hidden. It's gorgeous. Yes. So all you it? do is glue it to a clothespin close hmm. and set it in. From so watch. I'll show store. you guys. This one over here. I'm just going to reach in there. 
and look, it comes right off. Yes. Oh my oh. goodness. So you, you could put see. it on any decoration for Christmas then. You really could. You know, it's here. Let's see. I think it'd be a great, nice, be a beautiful brooch. Thank that you. is nice. That's perfect.